Hi, in this video, I explain how to deal with Apache Derby, a small database system which is easy to install, easy to use. For example, you want to talk to a database from your Java E applications, and especially if you are using OS X, which does not run Oracle, you have no option but to use some other database system. Of course, you can use MySQL, you can use any other database system, but I recommend you think of Apache Derby because it's a very simple, easy to use database management system. It was actually called as a Java DB, but in the recent past, it is no longer supplied along with Java. There was a time it was included along with Java. You can see that in 2015, Java DB was disconnected from JDK. So we don't get it along with JDK anymore. But how do you get it? How do you connect it to Derby database? How can you access it from JDBC? Now, here are the steps. First, go to db.apache.org slash Derby. That's the home page for Derby. So just go there and you find download tab. And it doesn't matter whether you're using Windows or Mac, it works on any of those platforms. So go to download tab, and then you have to select which version of Java are you using. If you're using anything above Java 9, Java 9 or above, then I suggest you go with this. Just click on this, and it's going to take you to two options and always select the most recent. So I go with 10.15.2, which is the latest version for Java 9 and higher. For any reason, if you want to use Java 8 only, not Java 9, then you can go for one of these versions. And in fact, you have versions even for lower versions of Java. I go with Java 9 and higher. And I have Java 13 installed in my system. So I go with this. Just click on that. It is going to show you what are the options available. And this is where you have to select what you want. It is not any installer. It's just a zip file. So download, unzip. You're ready to go. That's it. So I'm going to download 10.15.2.0 bin zip. This is what I want to download. So just click on that, it will be downloaded. And I'm going to download this into my desktop. So I can put it anywhere I like. I'm going to download that onto my desktop. In fact, I've just downloaded that. So I don't need to download that again. So it's already downloaded. And this is my download. It's around 21 MB. That's all. Now, once it is downloaded, you're ready to install it. In fact, there is no installation. So here is my download. Just double click on that. I'm using WinRAR. And this is where you find the bin directory. If you go inside this, you're going to find the bin, demo, docs, and a lot more. Now, this is where I have to extract this zip file into some folder. So here, let me go back. This is the file, the zip file. And I have to double click on this to get into this. And now I extract. I want to extract this into my C drive. And I want to extract that into some folder like Derby. Well, that is what I want to do. I want to just copy this into a folder called Derby. Go ahead, OK, and I say S yes to all. If it is already there, it will be overwritten. But I think in your case, it's not there. So we installed Derby. That's it. Well, is it there? Yes, it is there. Just go to command prompt, go to that folder. So I'm going to Derby. And then if you go and see, you find all those folders like bin, demo, etc. And we need to get into bin. This is where all the programs are present. If you see, 
these are the programs and we are interested in ij this is a interactive tool this is what we use to interact with uh, derby and to give you an example this is like sql plus in oracle so we using this ij i can interact with my derby database but where is the database well i don't have anything right now i'll create a database and also very importantly make sure in your system path you have anything higher than jdk 9 by any chance in your system path if you have jdk 8 or below it's not going to work so please make sure you set in your system path jdk 9 or above because anything below jdk 8 or jdk 8 does not work so make sure you set your jdk 9 or above in the system path in my system i install jdk 13 you can go with anything 9 10 any of those versions but make sure you set the bin directory of jdk 13 in the system path like this done and once it is done now we can go and start ij and this is how you start ij now my interactive tool started it's showing that version is 10.15 and if you give some commands like this show connections and you need to give semicolon at the end in order to complete the command and it says no connections available i have no connection right now but it is possible for me now to create a database and connect it to that and it's all simple just use a command called connect and use single quote not double quote and you need to use only single quote for strings not double quote and now after this you need to give jdbc derby then you need to give the database where you want to have the database well in my case i want to have the database in derby folder and it's called as hr and also you need to say you want to create the database because the database is not already there i want that to be created so give the complete path for database wherever you want the database to be just mention that and then give create property and say you want that to be created go ahead and run it and your database is created and now if you say show connections you will see a connection and now you are talking to the database that is derby folder and hr is the database if you go and see what is exactly there and here is your c drive and uh, derby database is here this is your derby database so a database in derby is just a folder and inside the folder you have few files and these files make up the database don't worry you don't have to know anything about the internal structure for now but you have successfully created a database what next you might want to create some tables and then insert some data and do things like that well it's not quite the same as sql plus or some other tools you're familiar with so let me show you how you create table we also have some schemas some users so if i say show schemas it's going to display the schemas and we are interested in a schema called app that is the standard default schema so now i'm going to create a table the table goes into that schema now i'm going to borrow the code from here this is how i want to create a table i'm just pasting it so here is the command so i say create table and paste it so create table jobs id is primary key which is uh, where character of five title is of 30 characters and minimum salary is inches just go run it says a table is created well the message might be a little misleading zero rows inserted updated or deleted because we didn't execute any dml command we executed ddl command 
and now the next step is to insert some rows and we can go and insert rows like this so as you paste that it is going to insert the rows and insert into jobs the values are going to be like this and once you execute the command it is saying one row inserted and again another row inserted and this is the third row inserted so three rows are inserted and now you are ready to see that select star from jobs and that is how it is displaying it's just typical select command nothing special about it but if you ever want to see what are the tables available then you should say show tables in the schema app and now it is showing you that you have a table called uh, jobs and it is saying it is in the schema app and also you can say describe jobs this is how it is going to display the structure of the table so download the zip file extract it into a folder and that's where you have your apache derby database and then go to command prompt get into bin directory and from the bin directory you have to start ij and then connect to a database if it is already there it's connected if it is not there you're going to create it and you must give create is equal to true if you want to create now i'm going to exit and one more very important step as i mentioned earlier you must make sure in the system path you have jdk 9 or above included otherwise it is not going to work especially if you have anything before jdk 9 it doesn't work and if i have to go back to that just type ij again no connections you can say show connections and it is saying no connections now we can create a connection again now this time i don't need to give create true and i say this is the database i want to connect it to yes i'm connected and we are ready to go with remaining commands like this so this is about how to get started with the derby and now you might want to connect it to this from your java applications and if you want to do that then please go through my blog this is my website and go to blogs and in that in java language and technologies i have how to use apache derby from jdbc and please go through that and this is where i'm explaining how you can uh, connect to derby database from jdbc and this is the connection string and i assume the database is here and if it is not there it is created and then we can start using create table commands and dml commands all sorts of things so this is about how you connect to derby database from jdbc so go through this blog and this is how you get started with the derby this could be very useful for those who cannot use oracle but who want to use a database this is a simple easy to use database system i hope this is of uh, help to you keep working well if you want to know more about java or any of these uh, technologies i have some blogs in my website please go to my website and in my youtube channel i have a lot more videos watch them and keep growing all the very best